You talked uh, a little while ago about the 19-year-old entrepreneur. Yes. The biggest asset is patience. Yes. What does the older entrepreneur, what should they have as their asset? Because I'm not patient. <laughs> Three years ago, I started a business with some, uh, some other guys. We're now 80 people turning over 10 million pounds. Amazing. I'm not patient. You want more. Absolutely. It's fantastic. This is amazing. What's my biggest asset now? Well, I think your asset is experience. All the cliche stuff, it's just cliche. It's, you know, everybody said it. What I think though is, do I think, instead of saying experience, I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. Do I think a 46 year old man has a better chance of knowing himself than a 19 year old man? Yes, I do. I think we've all gone through it, right? Even think about your transition from high school to university. Like, you just get there, right? You get more comfortable with yourself. The second you get more comfortable with yourself, you start being more honest with yourself. Da, 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 da. So at this point in your life, and my life, and your life, we should really know ourselves. And so, what, when I hear, it's an even interesting for me to hear that you started with a couple other gentlemen. To me, my hope, for my own kind of like personal picture that I'm trying to paint here, is that the three of you had some crossover skills, but you're all maintaining your core skill, and that's what's helping the business, right? You're taking care of this, that person might be taking care of that, and the other person's there. That's a very common thing for older entrepreneurs, because at that point, they've shed their wants and their romance about being the best sales guy, or the best sales girl, and now they know, I'm really good at CFO, Finances, I'll never let us go out of business. I've got the numbers. Don't worry guys, you go be crazy because I'm gonna make sure we pay our bills. You go make sure the staff loves us and now we've got this. I was gifted that I do a lot of the principles well, all of them. Finance probably being my weakest, it's probably the one that's most commoditized and when you're in business with your dad and your brother, if they steal from you, it's a good story, right? So, so I, think that, um, I think that your biggest advantage is that you got, it's probably the narrative to why you were succeeding. Now the question becomes a more interesting one. I'm gonna take you in a different place that's probably more grounded in the actual like energy. I think the big thing now at this point in your life is to really try to figure out very quickly what you want to happen. And the problem is you have two other people that may want different things. But if you're able to align that you guys wanna sell the company soon because that's a real cash out on that kind of revenue, then all, of your behaviors have to go in that direction. You have to figure out who you can sell to. You have to start becoming a media company to them. One of the great misplays of brand is if I wanted to sell VaynerMedia tomorrow, it would happen in 30 minutes, not on revenue, on the fact that I would market to the people that could actually buy me. I don't think Martin Sorrell knows who I am. In 20 minutes, he would want to rip his arm off to buy us. That's what I'm good at. So what I would love to know is how aligned are you guys? And if you're aligned, make all your actions go in that direction. That's interesting to me, right? That's where you can really make something amazing happen. So I think that's something to really give some serious thought to. But I think it's, it's self-awareness at this point. You could, you could, you've got so much more history in your 20, 30 years of entrepreneurship that allows you to, and, and you should shed even, whatever, whatever pride you have left in principles that you don't bring to the table as well as you know partners do, the more you can shed down to only focusing on what you do, me and AJ are so efficient because we do not discuss the things that we know the other person's better at. We don't even talk about it. You know? Big. And when one broaches the subject, the other gets pissed. <laughs> right? Because like, why would we even waste time? You know I'm better at this than you. And we've become efficient. Like fucking, fucking efficient. You know? And time is the asset. So why debate? Got it? Yeah, that's great. That's yeah. great. We're on the path and you And the other thing I would tell you, I would highly recommend you forcing your other two partners to over communicate with the three of you at all times. Like force communication right now. You're successful and you're at this age. This is an interesting time. Like force communication. Anything that you think is sitting in your heart that needs to be talked about with your other two partners, I would tell you to do that tomorrow. The quicker you get it out, the better you're going to be. Yeah, thank you, Gary. You're welcome.